what I picked up from there is sounds like you know the bonds both green and blue you know uh, has been growing very well in Thailand. We talked a lot about the the issues right the product uh, be it a few companies that you mentioned. Now I wonder you know what kind of people or institute actually buy them you know from the from the from the demand side. Maybe Dr. Sarov one cup. Um, you know who is the typical investor when it's come to this type of innovative you know financing products. What is in it for them? It used to be that uh, the main investor, uh, uh, institutional investor, uh, particularly from abroad, uh, mm -hmm. ADB is, is one uh, such investors. You can see that uh, the trend of the investment, uh, not only in the green and the blue, but on the uh, sustainability as a whole, has been growing. Mm -hmm. uh, the mutual fund or the uh, private investment fund that uh, contribute responsible investment has been growing exponentially in, in Europe as well as in the US. Uh, for the Thailand case, uh, we also observe such trend. At the currently, there are uh, close to 60 uh, funds in Thailand that invest in the uh, sustainability theme. Uh, what we are seeing now is that uh, in, in, in addition to uh, the investment in the uh, uh, overall arching of the sustainability theme, uh, more and more funds start to invest in a specialized theme, uh, for example, on the climate risk, uh, or in the gender, mm. or on the human rights issue, uh, as well as uh, some specific fund, uh, maybe uh, the ocean uh, friendly, uh, the blue uh, bond included, uh, has begun to emerge. Uh, this is from the institutional uh, side. During the COVID crisis, uh, we noticed something different is happening. Uh, we noticed that uh, the retail, uh, the local retail, uh, starting to uh, be more interested in sustainable stocks. Uh, this also applies to the, the green bond. Uh, as I uh, follow a lot of my colleagues uh, in the listed company that has issue, we noticed that it used to be that in the past, institutional investors are the main, the primary investor. But in the recent times, uh, the bond is more distributed to retail, uh, high net worth and others. And this also in conjunction with uh, another survey that we did uh, when we tried to learn the investment behavior of, of new gen, uh, gen Y and gen, gen Z. Mm. Um, it turned out that uh, uh, the younger people, uh, they invest to express themselves. Mm. So they will invest on uh, investment that is uh, in line with their belief and uh, sustainability issue, the environment issue is one of them. I think it has been very good, interesting conversation so far. Uh, what I heard from the previous episode is that the ecosystem infrastructure is being built you know, quite firmly now. And from this conversation, I know that you know, from the demand side, things are looking up, uh, and from the supply side, also people are coming in and, and utilize innovative financial um, products. Um, if I were to ask um, Kun Sushi for the, ne the next question, um, going forward, what do you see as uh, challenges or opportunities, you know, for blue bonds or green bonds markets, not only here in Thailand, but also for the region, right? Uh, if you have, you know, as a, as a benchmark in terms of market sizing, where are we now? And, and going forward, how much we can expect this market to grow? You know? Yes, uh, yeah, that's a very uh, good and important uh, question. Um, I think the global issuance of green bond has already reached uh, um, um, 1 trillion US dollar in total, which is uh, a big amount. And it can be considered uh, uh, already as an established asset class. But um, considering the, the the big scheme of the global capital market, it's just uh, still a fraction of the entire bond issuance uh, or the capital market. So um, there is still a, a lot uh, uh, we can do. We'll certainly see um, increasing uh, sustainability-related uh, investment um, as uh, uh, countries uh, um, uh, move towards this uh, uh, net zero targets. It's a long-term target, but uh, uh, we need a massive uh, mm. relevant uh, investment. So we'll certainly see um, uh, continued growth uh, in green bond and uh, um, uh, also 
in uh, blue bond and uh, other sustainable uh, bond. Uh, realistically, not 100% of the corporate activities uh, can be eligible for green bond, uh, obviously. As I mentioned, there's uh, eligibility criteria. So whenever they have uh, um, uh, investment that will be eligible for this uh, green bond, uh, uh, they should always uh, uh, do so. And perhaps going forward, they can attract um, attract uh, good uh, uh, terms, but that will remain to be um, a proportion of the um, entire capital market. Now, um, even without a green bond, there are many things uh, um, um, from the supply side that corporate can do. Um, so many corporates uh, uh, which uh, may not have directly eligible green bond issuance, uh, only a, a, a limited uh, um, uh, funding needs uh, to be eligible for, for green bond. These corporates can uh, still have certain targets um, to uh, um, the, um, the company or their activities can meet in connection to sustainability uh, um, uh, activities, such as their use of renewable energy, um, such as uh, energy efficiency at their corporate level, uh, rather than a specific uh, project and, and so on and so forth. There can be a number of uh, innovative ideas about that. If that's the case, um, even if it's not the, uh, a green bond as such, uh, the corporate can uh, go for uh, other instruments such as sustainability linked bond. Mm. So sustainability linked bond is uh, um, another type of asset which uh, doesn't have uh, use of proceed requirements. So it doesn't have to be uh, renewable energy, uh, like I mentioned for green bond. But if they have uh, these um, targets, um, they uh, can uh, um, declare uh, that they will be meeting uh, these targets by a certain date. Based on that, that they issue the bond. And uh, by meeting or failing um, those uh, targets, the, the coupon can go up uh, or down. This kind of bond, uh, it's not going to be bound by the use of proceeds. I think it can uh, create opportunities for um, other issuers to be engaged in the sustainability uh, agenda through uh, capital market exercise. So these kind of things uh, um, uh, we see as uh, um, the way forward and opportunities. The challenges uh, would be, um, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, that the, uh, perhaps the, 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 the green bond, um, uh, we should still make effort to um, uh, increase uh, awareness and uh, there, there can be uh, uh, limited uh, uh, opportunities as compared with the, the entire capital market size. Um, yeah, perhaps uh, yeah, I'd summarize like that. Okay, thank you. Um, before I close this session now, which has been a really, really good session, I learned a lot. Thank you very much. Any final thoughts you know that that you'd like to share? I think um, we know that uh, sustainability issue is a trend. Uh, green bond and blue bond uh, we also benefit. Uh, I think another challenge I I like to uh, add is that uh, uh, for smaller company, uh, sometimes they may feel that it is uh, quite difficult to do. Uh, for for large company, uh, they have a lot of resources uh, to do the uh, uh, verifications, to do the, uh, uh, the investor uh, relations and all those things, to do the accounting. But for smaller company, I, I would say that uh, uh, don't feel that it is an obstacle because sometimes uh, it can turn into a, a good opportunities. Uh, there are many examples for smaller company, uh, listed company uh, at the stock exchange Thailand that, uh, that do this type of projects. Uh, one company, uh, just as example, uh, they uh, develop the, uh, the, uh, the milk, uh, the, the bag for the uh, mother's milk mm -hmm. that are able to show uh, the date of expiration and link to the uh, mobile mm -hmm. so that uh, there's no waste. In, right. uh, in the in the food and uh, in a way that you, you save uh, the environment. So so this type of thing uh, or this type of projects uh, maybe uh, not for green or blue bond, but this is something that is in the trend of the uh, sustain sustainability, and it could be the opportunity 
So don't give up. And there's always something that uh, we all can do. Thank you, Dr. Drapon, for, for um, make, um, making that note, uh, because uh, actually I mentioned several uh, sample projects where ADB became an anchor investor to the Green Bond. But we also have a technical assistance to help uh, um, smaller issuers uh, um, to identify green bond and other sustainable bond uh, uh, opportunities. So this is a, a very uh, important uh, agenda that uh, um, uh, all the potential issuers um, have uh, um, uh, access to opportunity and they are uh, encouraged to, to, to be engaged uh, in uh, this exercise. And in fact, uh, um, uh, Thailand uh, has uh, um, its uh, own depths of capital market. It's good that uh, it's um, uh, mostly dominated by um, uh, uh, local investors uh, uh, so far for market stability. But now we are seeing uh, a rapidly increasing uh, a number and amount of uh, ESG-focused uh, uh, funds who are looking for uh, more opportunities outside the developed market in emerging markets, uh, um, including uh, Thailand. So I think Thai market is uh, very well positioned. So if uh, uh, we could connect uh, these uh, issues, uh, uh, large issues, of course, but including small and medium issues with uh, um, uh, global um, investors uh, um, to uh, contribute to this uh, sustainability exercise, it, it's going to be a, a win-win for Thailand as well as uh, uh, for the rest of the world. I think to, to end this in a high note, definitely not giving up because I, I now have confidence that you know the infrastructure is there, you know the the demand side, you know the investors are there, the supply side, the issuers are there, and and from from uh, Dr. Surapon's uh, data, I'm very happy to hear that even the retail investors are there, right? And the SMB, the smaller uh, uh, business, they are beginning to uh, to accept uh, right. this type. Yeah. So I think you know we are we are in a good place, you know, in terms of mobilizing you know financials uh, into low carbon projects to help mitigate and uh, climate change and also adaptation so with that thank you so much you know for this conversation for blue bond green bonds uh, has been a very colorful conversation thank you